In one month, I will celebrate my 10th anniversary with my wife. Uh, so far, I, I must give the marriage experience five stars out of five. I must because my wife might listen to this. But also because it's actually true. You know, I had the good fortune of marrying a woman who's care, caring, faithful, intelligent, talented, good mother, nurturing, joyful, loving. Uh, she also believes in me and supports me and my ambitions. And that's one of those qualities in a wife that a, a man kind of takes for granted if he has it. Until he realizes that lots of men end up in marriages with women who doubt them, cut them down, belittle their, their dreams. Uh, I've never had to worry about that with my wife, which is a good thing because, as you've noticed, I come up with some pretty weird schemes sometimes. And she's almost always game for it. In fact, sometimes she's the one suggesting the weird schemes and things I should do. All of these are positive qualities. And on top of it all, I must say that my wife is actually uh, also really hot, which, which frankly is, is a huge bonus. Now, if you're looking at me and wondering how I managed to land somebody with all of those qualities, I have no answer for you. I'm just as perplexed as you are. All right. Let's just hold our horses here, Matt. Now, in the first, uh, let's see, how many minutes was this? In the first one minute and six seconds, Matt has fallen into the most common trap that most trad con, and I hate to say evangelical Christian guys, which I know that's what he is, but most sort of good upstanding trad traditional conservative men will do they must become less so she becomes more and he, i love how he mentions a few things about like you know there's some guys who don't have women that are as supporting and gorgeous and you know pretty hot like my my pastor's wife pretty hot right the the idea is that self-deprecation will in some way make that woman your wife especially your wife more appreciative of you stop doing that stop it stop self-deprecating traditional man stop self-deprecating evangelical christian guy or whatever you are stop doing that it's not what it's not the win you think it is i've taught once again thank you pat campbell i've done i've done this show i've talked about this topic several times you do yourself no favor by self-deprecating. That's not to say you don't laugh at yourself, whatever. What it is, is it's that's your default response. Self-deprecation. Stop it. Most guys, when they do that, they believe that, well, well, I can't believe my luck. I can't believe that that uh you know, it must be a God thing because um you know, I'm, I'm a schmuck and there's no way I could ever get a girl like this with, if it wasn't some sort of act of divine intervention. So here we are. Let me introduce you to the little lady and she's still kind of hot. No. And she supports me. Well, yeah. Okay. You know why? <laughs> like he says, well, most, most guys take that for granted. I don't think so. I don't think so whatsoever because that's the way it should be, Matt. That's not, a, that shouldn't be a rare, it shouldn't be a rare quality in the woman who's decided to spend the rest of her life with you. In fact, that you want to talk about data points that Jocko was talking about a minute ago, that should be one of them. So rather than say, and I, I granted, yes, it is very rare. So maybe it is something you should appreciate, but guess what? If you are making the sacrifice and it is a very great sacrifice to be married to a woman in this day and age, in a Western culture with all the downside effects that that entails, at least you can expect something like that. Please expect that. Gentlemen, if you find yourself self-deprecating when you're introducing your wife, when you're introducing your girlfriend, when you're, I don't care, whoever, like you could be yourself, whatever. Stop making yourself less to make her more. Stop it. All it does is make her go, oh, that's an insult. You are insulting your wife when you do that. Because women, their <laughs> women's egos are associated to the type or the the value of the man that they can get with, and if you, you clarify in no uncertain terms that she is better than you, that you can't believe that a schmuck like you, a low life like you, would ever have a princess or queen like her lower herself to your level to get with you. That's an insult to her ego because she married you because she thought you were better than what she should, she would realistically get. That's why that's the whole basis of hypergamy. Never seeks its own level, always looks higher. 
when you're the guy that she'd settled on and committed to, and you say, actually, I'm not higher than you. I'm actually a step lower than you. I mean, I, I'm, I'm the lowest step because you're so great. I, oh, gee, you're so, you're so beautiful. If that's you, you've just, you've essentially shot yourself in the foot in terms of hypergamous evaluation, especially for a woman who's decided to spend the rest of her life with you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. If anything, get cocky about it. Now, here's my wife. She's lucky to have me. How easy is that? Start the conversation like that. I'm such a badass and she's a badass too because she got with a guy like me. Oh man, he's, he must have a big dick. Right? Well, there, there it is. Do that. And I guarantee you will have the effect that you're trying to get by self-deprecation. But it's just one of the reasons why I thank God every day that I am married. And another reason is. is that being married means I'm not involved in the dating scene today, which is great because that scene is abysmal in every conceivable way. Okay. It's great because, Matt, you would probably, well, yeah, probably, you would 100% likely be in the 80 percenters who are below average. You would not be selected on Tinder. You would not be selected on Hinge. You would not be selected on Bumble. You would be lucky to be what Christian mingle, maybe, <laughs> and and based probably primarily on the fact that you're on Daily Wire or whatever it is that you're on here. I, I'm not trying to be an asshole or anything like that. I'm just saying in today's sexual marketplace, you would be opted out. You would be selected out. You would be one of the bajillions of guys who are trying to get with the very small percentage of women that are actually on those. So yeah, thank God you aren't. Because you're out of that, and thank God you met your wife prior to all of this stuff, and 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 you better you better mind your p's and q's because if you don't, well, they're gonna throw you back into that shit stew.